Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for an Inspired by YouTube episode today. This is a segment where I show off a card that I've picked up that was uh, pretty much directly inspired by one of your channels. It's been a little while since I did one of these. I think the last one that I did was uh, 1973 Top Baseball number one, the Home Run Leaders card, which I was uh, inspired by Card Wolf to pick up. And uh, in today's installment, we're going to do a more modern baseball card. And as you might guess by the slab that is up in the background behind you, it is going to be a Juan Soto card. Another Soto pickup for the collection. Um, a lot of what I've shown of his has been lower end, kind of easy to acquire stuff. Uh, Z folio material cards that are in the you know one to ten dollar range. Um, but I do have a few nicer Sotos, and today's is an example of one of those cards, and it came directly uh, as a result of being inspired by a channel that I enjoy here on the platform. So the channel is Wesker Griff. Uh, our friend Ed, who has been on the YouTube platform for forever now, um, I want to say like a decade or more, he is definitely one of the originals in the uh, YouTube cardboard community. I really, really enjoy his channel and his content, have been kind of soaking up as much as I can since hopping on the platform, and I find his backlog of uh, content to be very, very informational, and a lot of times I learn things on his videos that help me uh, in my collecting and help me to be a better collector. And uh, in this particular instance, this is a card that he is very, very high on. Ed, of course, is a a very, very big Juan Soto collector. Um, maybe, you know, one of the biggest Juan Soto collectors that I'm aware of. Um, he's been on the Soto train for a long time now and uh, definitely was one of those like myself who a year or two ago was just wondering, you know, how he could be as cheap as he was. And uh, obviously recently, you know, the rest of the hobby has caught up and Juan is no longer cheap. But um, Ed made a case for this particular card and I promise I'll, I'll show it shortly here. I'll try not to gab too much longer, but um, this card features a moment in time. It's from the 2020 Topps Chrome baseball set, and it is the Juan Soto SP image variation. Now, th this card is awesome for a variety of reasons, um, as broken down by Ed on his coverage of it that really sold me on the card. Um, first and foremost, I love, you know, shine, and this has a really, really nice refractor effect to it. Uh, all of the short printed image variations like this uh, from Topps Chrome in recent years are all refractors by default. There isn't, you know, any such thing as this card in a non-refractor format or regular Chrome format. So it has that awesome shine. Um, it's rare. This is a short print image variation. So this is, you know, not impossible, but scarce, I would say. Um, it's not uncommon at any time for there not to really be many or maybe even any of these available. Uh, on the market and, you know, as, as a card that's only a couple of years old to kind of have it be that scarce already. Uh, I like the rarity element. And the best thing about it, though, is the photograph that is featured on the front. So this is from Game 6 of the 2019 World Series, and it is the bat drop moment that occurred when Soto hit the go-ahead home run off of Justin Verlander in a tie ball game in a World Series Game 6. So pretty insane moment. Um, you know, Soto rose to the occasion on the world's biggest stage, uh, on the road in Houston with the evil, you know, Houston Astros coming off the cheating scandal, ahead three games to two in the World Series and the game tied, and the home crowd, you know, just excited to possibly see a World Series championship come to the city of Houston after all the controversy. And uh, Soto steps up you know, again, on the world's biggest stage as far as baseball is concerned and crushes a home run off of one of the best 21st century pitchers uh, so far to date in Justin Verlander and, uh, you know, would go on to win a World Series with with Washington. And who knows what would have happened uh, if he did not hit that home run and, and put them in the lead uh, and, you know, enable them to go on to a Game 7 where they eventually, you know, won that World Series. So Ed, you know, I think likes to quote it as, you know, Juan Soto is the man who saved baseball, which is obviously a little bit tongue in cheek, but um, maybe not that altogether untrue when you think about, you know, the the sort of uh, feeling that would have been pervasive throughout the hobby had the Astros won that World Series championship, you know, so closely on the heels of their 
cheating scandal. And so definitely to date, one of the biggest moments in the career of a very bright player in Juan Soto and uh, commemorated on super shiny cardboard. Really good job by Topps. Um, I wish I had picked this up even earlier than I did. It's uh, not a cheap card any longer, but I think it's maybe even more expensive now than it was uh, when I got this copy many, many months back. Um, so huge thank you to Ed for being the inspiration in getting me to track down a copy of this. It feels like a pretty significant uh, third year card to add as a piece to my growing Juan Soto collection. Uh, so happy to have one in hand and uh, was inspired entirely by you. So thank you, Wesker Griff. And uh, if anyone by chance is not familiar with Ed's channel, uh, maybe you're newer to the YouTube platform, would highly recommend checking him out. I will leave a link below. Uh, as I said, I, I consider his backlog of content to be sort of an education in the hobby and the state of the hobby over time. So you can learn uh, a lot of great things by tuning in and just paying attention to what uh, he is collecting and uh, what he has to say about the hobby. So thank you, Ed, for the inspiration. Thank you to everybody else for stopping by to check out the content. And I will certainly be back in the very near future. Until then, take care.